Building complicated dynamic content in Drupal is easy, as we've seen, but it can come as a price. A lot of what makes a site engaging can dramatically slow performance under a heavy load. The slowdowns are at their worst when traffic is high, and Drupal is required to perform complex database queries and expensive calculations every time a user looks at a page. So caching comes to the rescue. Caching is a way of holding query and calculation results in storage to allow fast retrieval without having to recalculate or query the data from the original source. Caching works best on data that doesn't change frequently. We often see caching scenarios for websites. Often we can identify pages or elements of pages that don't change frequently. These pages are great candidates for storing a cached copy. Of course, if a page doesn't change every page load, then caching it saves time and server resources, and visitors can experience faster page loads. The caching API in Drupal 8 has page caching enabled by default. Depending on the needs of your site, you can make your site between 2 and 200 times faster than previous versions of Drupal for anonymous users. So right out of the box, Drupal 8 will respond in constant time, whether earlier platforms of Drupal are slower depending on the complexity of the page. To understand the complexity of a page, it's important to understand that a page in Drupal can have blocks, listing, entities, regions, and a lot of other objects. When one item changes, the container of that item needs to be fully rebuilt. Often the item is a whole page, and this is a problem that's required a much needed solution. So for instance, if this node in the dark and blue area was updated, then this entire page would have need to have been updated. But now with Drupal 8, we have render caching. Render caching is a way to cache the page in parts, which means only the individual parts need to be rebuilt when changes occur. Render cache is active by default for all entities, which means that the output of all entities is cached once viewed. Whenever an entity is changed or something that is referenced by that entity changes, the cache is cleared automatically thanks to cache tags. Cache tags allow the developer to define specific cache clear scenarios for their site based on the known behavior of their site. This means it's possible to clear all caches that contain information about user 300 following an update to their account without clearing every other user's cache data. And this is really exciting. All of this is turned on by default. And finally, cache tags are one of three properties of cacheability metadata Drupal uses to provide caching. Cacheability metadata is used by the caching system to determine what gets cached and how it gets cached. The three primary properties of cacheability metadata that Drupal 8 users are cache tags, cache context, and cache max age. The important takeaway here is that Drupal 8 developers followed a fast by default principle to assure that nothing needs to be enabled to provide performance boosts right out of the box. So you as a site builder technically don't need to worry about this very much, but it's important to understand. For further study, you should read the page at drupal.org slash developing slash API slash eight slash cache.